Hello YouTubers, uh, I'm going to make a video on how to change a flat tire. Of course this car ain't flat, but I'm going to do a video because I've helped a lot of people. I'm, I'm the guy that stops whenever I see somebody broke down on the side of the road. I stop and render help. <clears throat> it's just something I can't resist, even my kids know. But uh, it's uh, snowing here in Amarillo, Texas. It's about 32 degrees. Uh, I love cold weather. I'm a cold weather guy. Uh, it is chilly. I do feel it in my bones. But let's do this video and uh, hopefully it'll help you. Okay, first thing you want to do is you want to loosen your lug nuts while the vehicle is still on the ground. And I'm going to show you several ways you can do it. Uh, I helped a lady and a gentleman. They had a flat. I pulled over and uh, they were using one of these. But it was a smaller one. It was about this short. And she couldn't get it. And I asked them if they needed help. She goes, yeah. She goes, we just don't have the strength to take it off the lug nuts so I said well let me try so I took that bar just like this one but smaller I put it on there and I stepped on it and she freaked out she goes why didn't I think of that so you know it's things that people you don't forget when they're in an emergency and I'm not making fun of nobody I'm not laughing at nobody we all started there <clears throat> but uh, you can use a tire iron like this or you can use a four-way which has four different uh, size that you can use uh, whichever one is uh gonna work on your lug nuts whatever size it has different sizes and you can also use a <clears throat> pipe at the end carry a pipe it doesn't have to be that long this is gonna give you extra leverage break them you want to go overkill I carry a jack and I use the handle of my uh, jack okay you can use a regular uh, ratchet this is uh, about a 12 inch ratchet put it on there and this will be kind of a little bit hard because it's not a very long pipe, but look, it's going to give you that leverage. If, they name, if that's not enough, <clears throat> grab the big boy. There's plenty of leverage here. I don't know how simple that was. Just to break them. If you've got a long ratchet, the long ratchet. Make sure it's in the right direction. <clears throat> That's still kind of short. Took some effort. Here's a longer one. Boom. There you go. I think we got them all. Once you break them, of course, you can use one of these. It's very expensive. This one will do the job. Some of these will even break the lug nuts off for you. Not use one of these drills with an adapter like this. Real handy. But it won't break the lug nuts loose. You have to break them first. But don't uh, loosen them completely. Just loosen them a little bit. Not all the way. Now we jack it up. Okay, we're under the car. Find a good jacking point. And I'm jacking it up from the uh, differential. That's really the only place you really can jack this bad boy up. Okay, now let's go put the jack stand on it. All right, guys, this is where you want to put your jack stand. BMWs have a little uh, rubber or plastic block right here. Mine have fell off. I hit so much stuff. But all vehicles have this pinch point right here. That's where you can jack it up. I use this, even though it doesn't have the block, that's a solid piece of metal, it's not going nowhere. Most cars have this pinch point, so I'm gonna use it just to show you, it's not gonna hurt nothing. And they have one in the front too, okay? Let's bring it down, I'll show you. Okay, it's down, solid. Look, nothing's bending. That's a good solid point. I'm trying to talk with that snow getting in my face. And in our mouth, it's really snowing pretty good right now. Okay, once you do that, we still, we still have the tire off the ground. Let's go ahead and remove the lug nuts completely. Okay, it's really coming down, guys. See what I do for you? I'm out here in the snow, but I love it. I like playing here. We're going to go with the drill because a lot of people have a drill. Like I said, just get that adapter. Take it off. And also, go to your military surplus. Let's see if I can get this on the video. <clears throat> and get these knee pads. Man, they work great. They're rough. I mean, we use them in the military. I'm a Marine, but all the military uses them. Crete, get out of the way. Anyway, 
Now we'll completely take these out. And it'll be easy because uh, we've already uh, broke the glue. These are tools that just about everybody has. Okay, if they don't want to come out, take the socket and dig them out. Now I don't want to put these in the snow because... And don't get under the vehicle, guys. Even though you have the jack stand, if you don't need to get under a vehicle, don't, please. Up comes the tire. And your rim's off, your wheel's off. Boy, it's really coming down now. And uh, sometimes the rim will be stuck, the tire will be stuck there. What I do is I turn around like this and bam, kick the tire around and it'll break it loose. It'll get stuck here because you got rust and stuff. Uh, if you have a hammer, take a hammer, hit on the tire around and it'll usually break it loose. Okay, now putting it back on can be tricky, especially on a BMW because like American cars, they have the uh, studs that stick out and you can set the tire that'll help you hold it there BMWs as you see they don't have the studs sticking out but I got a video on that I made a tool for that but just bring the tire look at it and align it with the bolt pattern there that'll help you Like I said, I carry all kinds of tools. I carry this long uh, bar, prying bar, and I'll get in there, line it up as close as possible, stick this bar, push it with my foot. There. You can do the same with the tire iron. Use it as levers. <coughs> okay, got hair off. Can't see, but I think we got it. Okay, I'm gonna take a chance on rusting that bad boy. Take your socket and do it by hand. You may have to move the tire a little bit. Once that bites, okay, I think it grabbed already. Yeah. Okay, now take the other one. If you can spin the tire, spin it. If not, push it in so you feel it grabbing. Oh, I'm missing one lug nut. Did you see where it fell? No, it's somewhere down here. Creed, did you grab that lug nut? Yeah, it was in the vehicle. I missed it. Okay. Once they're hand tight, grab your drill. Make sure it's in the right direction. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. And I'm trying not to bust my butt. Do one. We may have to move the tire. Then go across. Okay. Then do the another one. Then go across. Do a crisscross pattern. Okay. There, they're tight. Pretty good tight with this uh, drill. Now we got to put that final touch on them. All right, to tighten them up, we're gonna use this long uh, ratchet. Gonna... Oh, and if you have if you have somebody helping you, they can put the brake, hold the brake down. In this case, you're able to use your emergency brakes. But uh, I'm just gonna do it with what you have. If you were to break down on the side of the road by yourself, grab a brick, a rock you find, shove it in the back of the tire so it won't spin, and tighten them up. And I'll show you why I why I like doing this. And again, start crisscross. Tighten this one, then go to the opposite side. Then another one. Opposite side. Okay, now they're off tight. The reason I like doing it like this, and I'm not saying these guys are wrong, but uh, I've seen people tighten them hand tight or pretty tight with the gun, whatever and then put it down and finish tightening it up. My theory is, if the tire's like this, okay, you put it on, say it's off a little bit. You didn't tighten it even flush. So this is my theory. Once you tighten it like that, then you put it down, you've got all that weight. I don't think turning the lug nuts 
is going to bring that tire together. Okay, now when it's up here, if by chance I left it open like this, when I do the final touch, it's going to move. The tire's going to move because it's not on the ground. That's my theory, but it works the other way too. I've seen people do it and I haven't heard of anybody having issues and I've never had issues with this. And just give it that final touch. And if you have a torque wrench, tighten the specs. But I don't think you're gonna be tightening the specs when you're out there on the side of the highway. And keep an eye on the traffic. I also have reflectors and lights that I use when I help people out. I set them up there, I don't wanna get hit by a vehicle. Okay, I hope the lens isn't getting wet. I'm having a hard time seeing through this side. The snow's piling up on the camera. See, this is the original jack point, and it has a uh, plastic there, which is gone. But look, I already took the jack stand off. And look, it didn't bend nothing. I mean, it's a little bent. Somebody else used it, because this is the first time I've used that pinch point, but it's nothing bad. This one you have, I guess, three options. Here, pinch point, and right there on the differential where I have it. Look how beautiful it is out here. You can see with the light. That snow is coming down hard. Okay, we're done. Take that block, the uh, jack stand. Let's bring the car down and bring it down slowly. Don't let it drop. I did that before and it on uh, Nissan Altima I had it jacked up from the front and I dropped it so fast fell off the jack and it put a hole in the uh, AC compressor oops but it was my car there let's see how it works Watch out, Drago. Okay, it's on there. Tire didn't fall off, right guys? All right, like I said guys, this video is for the people that have never changed the tire. Young kiddos, uh, female, even males, you know. My sons didn't know how to do that. We we all started there, so it's not big fun of nobody. It's a video to help you guys out, okay? Like always, I appreciate you. And uh, thanks for watching and God bless.